So Paul, 3-2 victory today. Um, just give your thoughts about how you thought the, the match played out. Um, probably the ugliest win of the season so far, I'd suggest, um, in terms of the way that we played in possession of the football. Um, I, I think they're a very good team, I'll be honest. I think they move the ball very well. They also have an aerial threat and a physical threat from set pieces, from long throws. So I think they're a very good team. And I know they're in a difficult moment at the moment, but they're one of the toughest um, teams we've faced. The sun was difficult early on, and that's part of why the boys didn't really want to play our, play our game in possession, because even a 10-yard pass was difficult to see looking into the sun. So initially, we, you know, we didn't have much of the ball, but we, we took a great... Lewis scored another great goal. I think I underestimated with Lewis the importance of that ability to just take the first chance he gets. That's huge in a game of football. In the last three games, he's done that, and that's given us a foothold in the game. Um, and then, you know, Alex is adamant he's won the ball on the, on the second yellow. It's a difficult situation there because once the ref gives it, gives it as a foul, he's deemed it a dangerous attack and he's booked him. So we go down to 10 and then Ollie, fantastic on the break, wins a pen, him and Rick, um, to go two up. And it was, you know, disappointing to concede just before half time would have been good to get into half time at 2 0. However, the effort and the commitment in the second half was outstanding. We just said, look, we're, they're a very good team. We're not going to be able to go and chase the ball. We'll get picked off. We need to sit in. We need to defend the goal. Um, and the boys did that fantastically well. Nothing went through us. Everything went round us. And then when crosses came in the box, the boys defended them fantastically well. And, and I'm, I'm so proud of the effort of, of every single person in that changing room. So you, um, so like you said, you got a man off in the first half. Are you quite happy with the resilience that your side showed in the second half? Yeah, Is absolutely. That was, in terms of resilience and defensive effort, it was the best performance so far this season. You know, the, the effort and commitment, the number of balls that came in our box that we defended, the work rate of the boys, you know, Tom's going, when we've got a goal kick, Tom's going to be a target, and then running back into centre midfield. Um, I think he's lost two headers out of about 12. They're all game off first contacts from Jamie Cogman. That helped get us up the pitch. Fraser Thomas would come on as a sub, so you know we lost Jack Evans in the week. Nye, Nye Livermore then went down with an injury as well. Alex gets sent off. We're left with you know no orthodox centre midfielders, if you like, on the pitch. Fraser comes on, and the, the pass that he's played to Ollie, you know, we needed that third goal. And we had in that moment, Fraser's got the ball down, got his body in front, played a fantastic ball to Ollie, who's then gone and finished it brilliantly. And that bit of quality is as important as the effort of Callum cleaning off our line, Cogs coming and getting punches, Rhoda and, and Matty defending God knows how many crosses, Woody and Noah stopping however many crosses. I thought the boys, to a man, were outstanding. So you've got two away wins on the bounce now. Uh, do you feel like you built a bit of momentum going into the festive period? Yeah, I mean, I still don't really deem it the festive period, if you like, but um, obviously it gives us momentum. We'll have to see where we are now. Our away record's outstanding. Our away record's the best in the league. Um, and we've got to try and have that same resilience now at home and, and, and let's see if we can back it up on Tuesday. We've got, we've got to patch some bodies up. We've got to see where we're at. I'm not sure if Nye's going to be fit. not sure if Rhoda's going to be fit. I know Matt yeah. Harris is going to be unavailable. But what an opportunity to go and put together a similar run as what we did at the start of the season. I know everyone will be behind us on Tuesday um, and we need as much support as we can get on Tuesday night now back at Pendown Park.